Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm making a shea and coconut soap using this fragrance from Crafter's Choice which is Wholesale Supplies Plus Shea and Coconut. <laughs> and it smells really really nice. I like this. I'm, I like coconut anyway. So a couple of things I'm going to do different in this soap is normally in my favorite base recipe I use cocoa butter. Well I'm going to swap that out for shea butter uh, and then it also has um, coconut oil in there along with this wonderful fragrance that says that it uh, discolors to a slight yellow which is totally fine. My color swirl I'm going to use this caramel brown butterscotch mica which I think is beautiful. It just sort of I don't know shea and coconut sounded sort of earthy and caramely colored in my mind and one of the reasons I was thinking that way is I have these leftover rosettes from an earlier soap video that I did and I had extra frosting so I piped all these gorgeous little rosettes so I wanted to incorporate those. I thought the colors sort of sounded like it went with the whole shea coconut theme. Uh, for the liquid portion I'm going to be using coconut milk so I'm just going to take that coconut theme right to the finish line. <laughs> um, I will water discount from my lye solution so I will do a 50-50 sodium hydroxide distilled water for the lye solution and then to make up the extra volume of liquid, it will be a nice creamy, pure coconut milk that I'll use in this. I'm gonna get everything pulled together, get my hair pulled back, and let's make some wonderful coconut milk, shea and coconut <laughs> soaps today. So I've got all my ingredients to go into my oils here, which has that wonderful shea butter, is part of my hard oils in this soap today. So I'm going to be doing the milk in oil method, which here is my, look at how rich that coconut milk is. It's so thick and creamy, I love it. And it's not a coconut cream, it's just pure coconut milk. But anyway, it's good stuff. There's a link down below for the brand that I like. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my coconut milk right into my oils here, which um, again, I've, I've explained this in earlier videos, but uh, I, have, I have water discounted from my lye solution um, for the volume of coconut milk that I'm using. So it's not extra on top of it, just in case this you haven't seen any of the earlier vid videos, I do a water discount to make up for the volume of coconut milk going in there. So we've got that in there. Let's do our colloidal oats. We'll go in here and my kale and clay. And I put these additives in just about all of my soaps. I just really love how they are in the finished soap bar. So I'm going to get that blended in. I have my fragrance off to the side and I will add it after I've gotten a light trace because I've never worked with that fragrance before. Smells divine in here though I will say. <laughs> so let me get these all just anchored in, let the dry ingredients fully absorb and then we will come back when it's time to move on to the lye step. almost ready to add the lye in but I wanted to show you first um, I decided uh, to pull out a leaf piping tip if everything's behaving well I would like to I'm using this matte woodland green from wholesale supplies plus to pipe a little bit of leaves around these really cute little embeds that I have so I'll pack these in as tight as I can on top and then I'll just fill in some of the spaces with some green leaves if everything's you know behaving <laughs> There's always that factor when we uh, when I make soap. You gotta always keep a contingency for if things, you know, go weird or wonky. But uh, that's what's going on there. Uh, let me see. I got the green. Yeah, that's it. So, time for my very steep discounted lye solution here, which has cane sugar, um, sodium hydroxide, tuss of silk fibers, and sodium lactate. That's what's going on in here. And I will hand stir to emulsion and then we'll split off for my little green leaf color and my beautiful caramel brown mica, which is, it's not even a brown range, it's very um, beigey and caramely after, after it saponifies. But it's very pretty. It's kind of a coppery color. I like it. Oh, this fragrance smells great. I love like earthy. Um, coconutty if it's not too sweet. I'm not a big sweet fan but this is really nice and the shea butter 
I think has a very earthy natural scent. So it's gonna, it's all just good. <laughs> all right, let's get that. It's turning a little bit caramely here because of the coconut milk and all the natural sugars in there, which is great. That's fine, makes for a luscious bar of soap. All right, we've got emulsion, so I'm gonna go ahead and split off in my colors. The next day it's been about 24 hours and it's time to get in here see how these little Shane coconut bars came out I did come in earlier the today or this morning and steam the top with just a clothes steamer you run it across and it just brightens it up uh, it didn't really have soda ash but it looked dull but now it looks nice and bright and let me tell you this fragrance was pretty decent to work with um, it did not speed up at all in fact I had to wait almost an hour for that um, piping to thicken up enough for me to do the leaves on here. Um, so, I mean, for soaping, that is fantastic. It just was kind of, I got all my dishes done, I got my soap things cleaned up. I mean, sometimes it's a blessing when uh, things don't go fast because you have time to do all the other stuff. So I can't wait to get it out 
and see how it's looking on the inside. Um, I just grabbed that whisk last minute. It was standing there and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try the whisk for a swirl. I did it once before, so I'm anxious to see how these swirls came out using the little wire whisk method. Let's get into these and see what that whisk did on the inside. And um, this is a very yellowing fragrance oil. I did not put any titanium dioxide and that is the color that it's curing out to be. It's gonna be beautiful. I mean, it goes with this well, but that's something to note with that um, fragrance. I'm really happy with these. It's kind of just a random sort of I don't know. I like the inside. It's just very, it's different than, um, obviously very different than a hanger swirl. Well, there we go. It's cool. It's just kind of really uh, random. I like that. <laughs> 